everyone welcome back in this session we are going to discuss about the reflection on a plane mirror see the reflection takes place on a plane surface as well as a curved surface and if you see the loss of reflections these loss of reflections are same for plane surfaces as well as a curved surfaces and now reflection on a plane mirror so for that if you consider a plane mirror and this is a point object so this is a object and to trace the image formed by the plane mirror so two rays are required so this is a first ray and this is the second ray so as this ray is passing through the normal it will retrace its path and this ray according to loss of reflection this ray will make equal reflected ray that means the angle of incidence equal to angle of reflection so if we extend these reflected rays this is a reflected ray and this is also a reflected ray so they both intersect at this point so this is a image as the object is point image is also a point image so here we can say like this the rays which are intersecting at a point or which starts at the point that is called as object and the rays reflected rays which intersect at a point see actually they are not meeting here this ray is going like this and this is coming like this so that's why what we have to do is we have to extend them so by extending the two reflected rays they will meet at a point and the image is formed so if the instant rays start at a point that is called as a point object and if the reflected rays meet at a point or appears to meet at a point then a image is formed there and these images images are of two types uh, one is uh, a real image and another one is uh, virtual image real image virtual image see let us see how the a real image forms for a plane mirror see actually if you are standing in front of a mirror we will observe our image there so and the image will form behind the mirror see we know as the mirror is a uh, reflecting it will have a reflecting surface and back side of the mirror it is silver coated so due to that it will act as a mirror so it will have a reflecting surface now coming to this real image and virtual image see for real image you consider a mirror and you consider a point a point image or point and you consider another ray which is incidenting on the mirror and that ray will meet here and if you consider another ray here which is incidenting on the mirror that ray also will meet here so if you observe here this is a reflected ray this is the incident ray this is the reflected ray and this is the incident ray incident ray and this is the reflected ray sorry this is the reflected ray so these two reflected rays are meeting here and these reflected rays are really meeting here so a real image is formed and if we extend the incident rays see actually these incident rays are uh, not meeting so if we extend these incident rays this one and this one yes these two rays are meeting here so image is formed and sorry oh uh, here a object is formed and what type of object is it it is a virtual object see as the image is real 
the object will be virtual if the object is uh, real image will be virtual see now in the same way let us consider a situation for virtual image so this is a mirror and here there is a point object and a ray which is passing through the normal will redress its path and ray, a ray which is uh, incidenting on the mirror it will make the same angle uh, from the loss of reflection so if we extend this uh, reflected rays this is a reflected ray and this is also a reflected ray they made he meet here so this is a, a image and this image is virtual image and this object is this is the object and this object is real object why we call as real object the rays are really starting here and <coughs> like this also we can consider what are the image or object forming in front of the mirror they comes under real here uh, in front of the mirror real image in front of the mirror real object behind the mirror so behind the mirror actually the rays may not go may not pass through the mirror as it is a mirror it will reflect so that's why we will we will extend the rays so the rays which are extended by us or will get a will form a virtual thing it virtual means it's not there actually so virtual object and virtual image so if the object is real image will be virtual if the image is real object will be virtual vice versa see there won't be two uh, both the object and image can't be real at a time and both the image and object can't be virtual at a time if uh, object is real definitely the image will be virtual and vice versa and now if you consider uh, some characteristics of a image formed by a plane mirror see this is a plane mirror and there is a, a line and this is the object consider this as object so to trace out the image two rays are uh, sufficient so here as it is normal it will re retrace its path and this is also normal it will retrace its path and if you draw another ray like this it, it will make a same angle from the loss of reflection and uh, this ray also will make a, a same angle from the loss of reflection and if you <coughs> extend these reflected rays these reflected rays will meet at a point where the uh, image will form see sorry so this is the this is the object a line object and this is a line image so if you observe this for a plane mirror the characteristics are the image will be erect so whatever the object we are placing and the same image we can trace it out in a mirror with same color same size same shape erect images erect images will form in a plane mirror and the distance of the object will be equal to the distance of the image if the object distance is 10 cm away from the mirror the image distance also will be 10 cm away from the mirror so the object distance and image distance will be same and if you consider the magnification for a plane mirror as the distance is same the magnification for a plane mirror is equal to 1 reason is image distance by object distance 10 cm by 10 cm so we will get 1 so the magnification for a plane mirror is 1 reason is the size of the image will be equal to the size of the object so that is the reason the magnification for a plane mirror will be 1 see if you consider a spherical mirror that may form a smaller image than the object or bigger image than the object but for a plane mirror the, there will be no magnification so the magnification for a plane mirror is equal to 1 and next if you consider 
uh, a field how we can uh, say a field see this is a plane mirror and here is a uh, some object and the rays are incidenting on the mirror from the object so the rays which incident will reflect back as it is a reflecting surface and we know that the angle of incidence will be equal to the angle of reflection see and <coughs> if you consider this is the last ray we call this last ray or reflected ray as extreme reflected ray extreme reflected ray so these extreme reflected rays see if you consider this region this region between the extreme reflected rays is called field of view that means if our eye lies between these two extreme reflected rays we can see the image and if our eye is out of this region somewhere else here we are unable to see the image which is formed in a plane mirror and coming to this uh, field of view this field of view will increase when the distance between the object and mirror decreases if the distance between object and mirror decreases then the field of view will increase and the field of view will increase if the size of the plane mirror increases is it or not if the size of the plane mirror increases definitely the field of view also will increase and the distance between object and mirror decrease also there will be increase in field of view